Hello, and it's a great day today, sunny and bright, so I call that grilling weather. I don't know about you. Um, people have been asking about the spatchcock chicken, so I thought I would show you how to make it. It's a lot easier than it seems, so hopefully I can demystify that for you. I have a whole butcher box chicken here. It's uh, four, almost four and a half pounds. Now I get about 13 meals out of this chicken. Uh, watch for the post on that because this goes a long way. I'll have chicken dinner tonight, I'll have chicken salad, I will make bone broth from the bones and maybe hmm, tortilla soup, chicken soup, um, a variety, lemon orzo soup, a lot of possibilities there. Um, I'll snack on some of the chicken, um, you know, as an added protein. So this goes a long way and um, you can cook it any way you want. You can oven roast it, you can do so many things, but with this weather, I'm going to spatchcock it and cook it on the grill. So I have the whole chicken. The other things that you need, I've got a couple of brown paper bags, only because I'm too lazy to clean up, but you'll see why that's helpful. And I have a few other ingredients, but you can season this however you like. I am just happen to be going kind of in a Greek direction tonight. I have salt. I have a nice big scallion, but you'd maybe need two or three of the smaller type. I have a nice clump of fresh dill. I have dried oregano, black pepper. I have a lemon, three garlic cloves. Can't have too much garlic. So that's what I'm gonna flavor this with. So let's get to the part about the spatchcock of the chicken and how that's broken down. It's really a lot easier than you think. So I take a couple of bags and just break them down so that they're a big placemat, if you will. This is not something to make if you're afraid of getting your hands dirty, but it's still worth it. It's really delicious. All right, so just spread that out. Bag number two, I'm just gonna leave like this. All right, so this way we can just cut open the chicken on top of the bags. We don't worry about the mess because when I open this up and take it out of the bag, a little bit of liquid is gonna drain out. That's inevitable. And the paper bags are just gonna just catch that. And we don't have to worry about it. Let's just get this out. Scissors are my friend in the kitchen, for sure. Love them better than knives sometimes. All right. So there we have it. Put the paper away. All right. Now we'll just set aside what we don't need. Now you're going to get your bag of livers and gizzards, which I'm gonna hold on to for my bone broth or my chicken stock, okay? So that's that, all right. So, nice chicken. Now breast is this side that's up with the nice full breast pieces and when you turn it over, now we're bone side down. So to spatchcock this chicken, we're going to remove this backbone, and that sounds like difficult work, but believe me, it's not hard at all, okay? So I'm gonna put it facing me this way. I'm actually gonna move the camera so you can really see how I'm doing this. So let me clean up for a second here. I'm gonna move the camera so you can really see how this is done. So it's so easy, okay. All right, now you should be able to see exactly what I'm doing. Kitchen shears are the best way to do this, poultry shears, but you can do this with a knife. So the bone is right here. You can see where it starts. And we wanna cut right along the edge of the bone. Sometimes it's hard to get it started, here we go. Cut along the edge. See? Don't cut too far out because you're just going to waste because we're going to discard this piece and cut right along the edge. And you can just kind of pull it apart a little bit and keep on going all the way down to the end. 
just open it up. And if you want, you can take a heavier knife and go at it that way too. A couple of techniques you can use. All right, so now we need to go and do the same thing on the other side. Let's just separate it one, this, one last time. Okay, so here's the bone. And we just want to come down. We went down the right, now we got to go down the left. And it turns out that the knife is going to work better for me, so just come down and remove it. You can also face it this way so you can see what you're doing. See, it's that bone that we want to get rid of. And let's get, take it off. There's a little meat on there, but that's okay. So I'm going to save this for my K-My broth as well. Now, I do like to just trim this one little piece off right here. There. All right. I told you you were going to get your hands dirty. Now, the purpose of Skeps spatchcocking the chicken is so that it'll lay flat and notice it's not laying flat just yet because there's one more one more cut we have to do we just need to come down and find this breastbone and give it a little whack and it should flatten down and you can just give it a push I know you heard the bones breaking now you can tuck these little wings under if you want to if you want to get fancy, but I, I like to just leave them like this. Now we have a flat chicken that's going to grill beautifully, right? So that is why we flatten it out. So let me get these utensils out of the way. And we're going to get our flavorings put together. I can move this back so we can all see each other. Here we go. Okay. So, like I said, you can season this however you like. Um, you know, you can go a more Italian route. You can make it really spicy. Spicy's good, you know. You could just put throw some sliced jalapenos right under the skin and... You know, really do it up that way. It's up to you. But I thought the Greek direction would be nice. I'm going to grill some vegetables on the grill as well. So it'll be a nice meal. This dill is just going to go under the skin, so I don't really need to cut it that much. Same with the onion and the garlic. Just cut the hard stem off the end and get rid of that and then we're just going to mash it down and get rid of the skin. I'm telling you this spatchcock chicken smells so good when it's grilling. I think that's the best part of the meal is just smelling everything cooking on the grill, don't you? Anyway, I try to get a whole chicken or two with each butcher box that I get because I get a lot out of it. And hey, when the weather's not good like it is today, I do it in the Instapot and you get a nice rotisserie chicken. Or you can bake it in the oven. You know, both of those ways are great. And I still make the bone broth and the soup and all the good things with it. Lemon. Now we want some lemon zest. That's where the flavor lives, okay? I mean, the lemon itself is great, but the zest is beautiful flavoring. And I said we're going in kind of a Greek direction, so that's why the garlic, the dill, the lemon zest, all right, those are signature, and the oregano, those are signature flavors. And I'll probably season my grilled vegetables similarly so the meal is cohesive just a thing that i like to do i'm not saying it'll be exact you know not exact but you know just carry over one seasoning into the vegetables so that the meal really just makes sense if you don't have one of these get one because a zester 
It's going to give you all this flavor that you can get out of your lemon. Okay, just cutting that in half. All right, and I have my dried seasonings, and I have plenty of salt. Okay, so let's get our chicken back over here. Let me see if I can move it over so you can see. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I told you you were going to get your hands dirty. We are going to lift, and I turned this around, so it's a little awkward for me, but I want you to see. We're going to separate the skin away from the meat so that we can put those flavorings on the inside. So all the time that this is cooking, the fat from the skin will flavor it as well as this nice blend of seasonings, but try not to make a hole. Okay, so I'm making these beautiful pockets and you could try to go back in through the other end as well and just make an opening. This is how I do a turkey too, although I'm not as big a fan of turkey as I am for chicken, but all right. Even the legs, okay, you can see what I'm doing here? Just make, make a space so that you can put the seasoning in, okay? All right, now we're ready. So we wanna kinda disperse this evenly, so I'll go with some onion. I mean, more fix, fits in the breast area than the others. So let's see, we'll do a little onion for each side. And we'll come in down here, and a little onion. Now you see why I didn't cut up that much. If I were cooking a whole chicken, I would stuff the entire cavity with the um, flavorings. But in this case, it's all just going under the skin where I'm able to. So just keep pushing it in there. So easy, right? All right, and it looks a little funny. But don't worry about that. All right. Now, let's get some of this beautiful lemon zest under there. Notice I didn't measure anything, okay? But I did have one lemon, and I did have like a little handful of dill. This is just going in under the skin again, like I said. Just throw it in under there. And let's not forget the garlic. And we know that's gonna really give it plenty of flavor. So notice all the seasoning is pretty much going on the inside of this bird. That's, that's the trick here. All right, now I'm gonna cut the lemon into some thin slices and they're gonna go under the skin as well. So we're using both the zest and the lemon itself. So just go ahead and stick a piece of lemon in each of the areas where you can get to. Okay. And the other half, we're just gonna squeeze juice right over the top. Beautiful. All right. I need a little bit of olive oil, which I failed to Assemble, so let me get that. This is pure olive oil. You don't use the light for cooking, you use the regular olive oil. Okay. We're just drizzling a little bit. It doesn't need a lot. Rub it in and the other side, this is actually the first side we're gonna start cooking. So let's get that in there. Rub it in, nice. All right, so now we're gonna put some dry seasoning on the outside of the chicken. That's gonna season it as well, and we'll give it a good flavor. Be generous with the salt, you know, some of it falls off, so you wanna have enough oregano. I could have put a little of this oregano under the skin. I may sneak some under there before it's over. Pepper. All right. Flip it back over. I keep a damp cloth 
for the very reason of I wanting to just kind of rinse off in between steps. Okay, salt, oregano. This is so, so beautiful. And you could smell all these beautiful seasonings. So I'm excited. All right. So I'm good to go with the paper. Now I can just get this onto the grill. I'm ready to go. But first I am gonna prepare my vegetables. I'm gonna get those all ready to go, even though, well, I don't just don't need to cook the chicken just yet. So I'm gonna start with the carcass side on the grill, and it's gonna cook almost completely that way. We need a medium grill or no direct heat. It depends on how hot your grill is. So really watch it. You don't wanna burn it. You just wanna let it cook nice in a covered grill. And then after it reaches about 160 degrees, you wanna flip it over and we're gonna get a nice browning on the outside. And this is gonna be delicious. So I hope that answers your questions about a spatchcock chicken. I will show you the end result. I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to have this great weather. And I hope you are too.